This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, the S&P 500 and NASDAQ Composite were down Friday for a fourth straight session and suffered their worst week since March. The Dow was down 1.1%. The S&P fell 2.3%, with the NASDAQ, this year's market leader, falling the most at 2.9%. It's probably not a coincidence that the stock market had a difficult week. The S&P 500, after all, entered the week up 28% from its bear market low last October. And many of the more pessimistic strategists caught off guard by the massive rally have most recently capitulated by acknowledging what has already happened and marking their forecast to market. Not that there's anything wrong with that. If we learned anything this past week, it's that the economy remains resilient, but not so strong that it forces the Federal Reserve to do something unexpected. The U.S. added just 187,000 jobs in July, according to the latest payroll report, and earlier months were revised lower. Now chalk that up as one more sign that a soft landing is still the most likely scenario, not the recession these former bearish analysts were predicting. Earnings, too, have been stronger than expected, and is the major reason the S&P 500 has had its best seven months of the year since 1997. As we all know, trees don't grow to the sky and market corrections are normal. And with this market's bullish run, it was long overdue. Summer, especially August, is an historically weak period for the market. Of course, corrections happen simply because there are more sellers than buyers at that given moment. But perhaps the catalyst for this week's drop was the sharp rise in Treasury yields that came as a result of the rating agency Fitch's downgrade of the U.S. credit rating to AA plus from AAA. Or perhaps, and more likely, a combination of the government's plans to issue more debt than has been expected and solid economic data that forced investors to rethink their current portfolio allocations. Now, on paper, higher yields indicate stocks are worth less. It's simply a matter of math and usually leads to a price adjustment. All else being equal, as long as rates don't rise too much, it presents a buying opportunity for long-term investors, especially now that the bears are throwing in the towel and succumbing to the pressure of FOMO the fear of missing out. In a big, booming bull market, occasional pullbacks are not something to fear. They're something to embrace. They're simply the pause that refreshes. Hey, by Sun and I, we have 75 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation to see if you have a goal-based portfolio, or like most, just a collection of investments, text or call right now to 844-752-752. 6692, that's 844 752 6692, or just simply call 844 Plan NYC. That's 844 P L A N N Y C. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management.